first I would say thank you for the 20 years. They've been amazing and wonderful and challenging and all those things wrapped up. What's remained for me throughout these 20 years at Georgetown that I think will continue to remain is that enthusiasm for I'm going to teach these students something that they do not know. Georgetown exposed me to social justice issues that uh, I had never thought about before. Uh, it's pretty incredible. I, ca I can't believe I've been here uh, for 20 years. It's extraordinary. I have been uh, you know, privileged to uh, work at Georgetown for these uh, many years. I was always attracted to uh, Georgetown because of the students and uh, also uh, because of uh, my colleagues. It's an honor to be a part of an institution that wants to educate students, but also be of service to the surrounding community. Being in Washington is just an enormous, enormous gift for the law school. And by and large, most of the members of the faculty, you know, they're, they're great academics. They're deeply involved in public policy to make things better, better for everyone. And so, that's, that really makes this a very rich community. It's like living in a neighborhood, only it's my place of work. There's always something different happening, but it's a very familiar and very comfortable setting. I've had the same colleagues now for most of these 20 years. They're really very much like a family away from home. For me, Georgetown has always been a place grounded in the Jesuit mission a place of reflection and growth and a concern for the community. The most rewarding part for sure is to see the students grow. Of course getting to know them and to hear their stories and to help them through uh, a sometimes difficult journey. I landed here at Georgetown because I was really drawn to the Jesuit perspective. I think that's been the most rewarding. It sort of anchors me in, in who I am as a person and it really really gives me a different perspective that helps me in my work. My favorite moments are when students uh, recognize something of themselves in texts that were written 300, 400, 500 years ago. It is very emotional. Uh, when I came here, I thought it was only for uh, one year, and it's been uh, more than 20 years now. Uh, the most rewarding aspect of being at Georgetown is the time spent with, uh, with our uh, students. I do feel like it keeps me young. The fun thing about doing it on campus is the looks I get from students like, check out that old guy on the longboard. It's one of those aspects where I really feel like I can bring my experience as a humanist and as a researcher to longboarding. I love to compete. I don't think any coach would be in this if they don't enjoy competing but being able to watch the growth of our individuals is probably the biggest reward. I spent a lot of time the first few years I was here uh, looking up to a lot of the more senior faculty. I now realize that I am one of those senior faculty members. I am so lucky to be at a place like Georgetown University so that I can help figure out ways to have technology and society work together. Well, I think one of the great things about Georgetown is it's a place that always puts its people first and has always appreciated its people. Now that I'm doing more administrative work, being in a position to support those changes and to encourage certain changes, I play a role now in shaping what the future of this university is going to be. I was a lawyer for all those years and, by the way, a graduate of Georgetown Law School. Um, I told the students, I know what you're going through, and furthermore, I know what you're going to go through. One of the things that has kept me here all these years is that the job is always changing. I thought I was being hired as a professor of neuroscience, that I must know a lot of neuroscience, but I have learned so much more. The most rewarding aspect is when I see my PhD students do what they want to do when they leave. I think they're going to change the world. Being at, in Washington, D.C. is, of course, a great 
advantage. So I try as much uh, as I can to use the city as my, my playground. The next 20 years, I'm, I'm really excited about continuing to teach the classes that I teach and am leading the Cura Georgetown initiative around becoming a campus of well-being. I am currently on research leave and very much enjoying this semester of research and writing and I'm looking forward to returning to the classroom next year and then over the next 20 years just to do more teaching and writing. I hope to continue teaching because that is my, my passion. I would love to get through the next 10. I suspect in 10 years uh, we'll still recognize Georgetown, but it will be uh, dramatically different and dramatically larger in many respects, and I, I hope to be around to, to participate in that. So the one thing that I still remember 20 years after being at Georgetown, as a high school senior, I desperately wanted to go to Georgetown and I didn't get in. So here I am 20 years into being a faculty member. Hard to believe that I'm already here 20 years. So the next 20 years, you know, continue to bring in the best people and players that we can and uh, really focus on the person as much as the player? Well, I think I, I like to have 20 more years of the same experience. I look forward to uh, more of the same, but at the same time incorporating the new ideas that uh, come my way. Hoya Saxa. Hoya Saxa. Hoya Saxa. <laughs>